Hello and welcome everybody to know all about nanoscience and technology. These days there is a lot of buzz about nanoscience and nanotechnology. So much so that you people must have even seen our favorite Avenger Iron Man wearing its suit made using nanotechnology in Infinity War. So now I am sure you guys must be curious to know about this exciting field of science and technology. Aren't you? Then without any further delay, let's start exploring the world of nanoscience and nanotechnology. Before knowing the exact definition of nanoscience and nanotechnology, let's split these words into nano, science and technology. Nano is derived from the Greek word nanos which means dwarf, meaning extremely small. Whereas we all know science refers to system of acquiring knowledge, while Technology is the use of scientific knowledge for practical purposes or applications whether in industry or in our everyday lives. So in simple words we can say that nanoscience and nanotechnology are the study and applications of extremely small things. Ok fine. But now the question arrives how small? To find this answer let's take a look at the metrics table. We all know that 1 cm is equal to 10 raised to minus 2 meter. 1 mm is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 meter. 1 micrometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 6 meter. While 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 meter. That is, 1 nanometer is a billionth of a meter. So, our answer is this, this small. So, nanotechnology revolves around this scale range. So, in general, Nanotechnology is science, engineering and technology conducted at the nanoscale which is about 1 to 100 nanometers. Now that you know the basic definitions of nanoscience and nanotechnology, let's take a look at their standard definitions. The US National Nanotechnology Initiative has provided the definition which says, Nanotechnology deals with the understanding and control of matter at dimensions approximately 1 to 100 nanometers where unique phenomena enable novel nanotechnology applications. There is one more good definition guys to have better insight of nanotechnology which says the design, characterization, production and application of structures, devices and systems by controlled manipulation of size and shape at nanometer scale that produces structures devices and systems with at least one novel or superior characteristic or property. Now this was all about knowing the terms nanoscience and technology. But I am sure your curious mind also interests you to know about the origination of this field and how it started. To know this you need to know this person. Who is he? He is famous physicist Richard Feynman who initiated the uh, or who pioneered the idea of nanotechnology. The ideas and concepts behind nanoscience and nanotechnology was initiated by Richard Feynman through his talk entitled There is a plenty of room at the bottom at an American Physical Society meeting at the California Institute of Technology on December 29, 1959 long before the term nanotechnology was used. In his talk, Feynman described a process in which scientists would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms and molecules. Over a decade later, Professor Nario Taniguchi coined the term nanotechnology in 1974 to describe the precision manufacture of materials with nanometer tolerances. The actual modern nanotechnology began in 1981 with the development of scanning tunneling microscope that could see individual atoms. Now this, was all, now this was all about the history of nanotechnology. Now if you are still not clear about how the small the nanometer is then let's compare different things with their sizes for our better understanding. Now I want you people to visualize some things. Don't worry just simple things. Consider the house that you live in. It is just 10 meter wide. Height of man is 1.65 meter. The pen which we use is 14 centimeter. Large raindrop is 2.5 millimeter. Strand of hair is 100 micrometer in diameter. Sheet of paper 
is 75,000 nanometer thick. Any virus is just 20 to 250 nanometer. The DNA in our body is just 2.5 nanometer, while SWCNT, which is a type of nanometer, is just 1 nanometer diameter. Now, why did I ask you guys to visualize these things? Is just to have is just to have the sense of the smallness of nanoscale. So now I think you must be able to imagine how small the nanometer is. Then you must be wondering what's so special about this nanoscale? Is there any significance of this nanoscale? The answer is yes. How? Let's see with examples. Just imagine a DNA which is only 2.5 nanometer molecule but had such an important role to play in our human body. It carries the genetic information from one generation to another. Imagine guys, such a tiny molecule but is capable of doing such a wondrous job. Okay, let's take another recent example. Today, we all are aware about pandemic caused by coronavirus. The average size of coronavirus is just 150 nanometer. But the kind of devastation it has caused worldwide is huge and horrible. Hence, it's clear that this nanoscale gains enormous strength and capabilities. And we cannot just underestimate the power of nanoscale. When any material is brought down to nano dimensions, that is 1 to 100 nanometer, the material's properties change significantly from those at larger scales. Meaning, the properties of bulk materials are very different from the properties of nanoscale materials. This is the sky size scale where quantum effects come into play, where it rules the behavior and properties of materials. Properties of materials are size dependent in this scale range. That means the properties of nanomaterials are dependent on its small size. When bulk materials are converted into nanomaterials, their properties such as melting point, fluorescence, electrical conductivity, magnetic permeability and chemical reactivity change as a function of the size of particle. Now let me explain this with the help of example. You all have seen gold, right? The bulk gold, the one that you wear. It appears yellow in color, right? But when the same gold is brought down to nanoscale, it appears to be red or purple. Isn't it magical? Yes, that's our nanoscience. The other thing that makes nanoscale special is surface area. Nanoscale materials have larger surface area than bulk materials. Due to larger surface area, a greater amount of the material can come into contact with the surrounding material thus affecting reactivity. With this you must be clear why nanoscale is considered to be extraordinary. Now I am sure somewhere you must be wondering today why nanotechnology has gained so much of attention and gathered huge hype about it. The reason is numerous benefits and applications it delivers. Using nanotechnology materials can be effectively made smaller lighter, stronger, more durable, more reactive and better electrical conductors. Nanotechnology can find its wide applications in almost every field ranging from industry, textiles, biomedical, electronics, renewable energy, food sector, healthcare, agriculture, environment, sports, cosmetics. In this way, nanotechnology has succeeded in touching every aspect of mankind and this society. And then why learn this nanotechnology? Why I feel that everybody should know or should be informed about nanotechnology? Because nanotechnology is multidisciplinary subject. That means it can be applied to any subjects from physics to chemistry to biology to medicine to engineering. So I think it is important to every one of us to have information about nanoscience and nanotechnology. And with the help of this video, one can have brief idea about this modern age technology that is nanotechnology. So guys, this was the brief story of nanotechnology. And now it's time to end our video.
So if you want to explore more about nanoscience and dive into the world of nanotechnology, then do subscribe to this channel and also like share this video. And do let me know in the comment section below about your doubts regarding nanotechnology and I will surely help you guys with it. Till then, be happy and keep learning.